welcome to the Huddersfield Examiner Daily News Update this Tuesday the 3rd of June. Residents are fighting against plans to hold major events in Huddersfield's Greenhead Park this summer. Many people living close to the park are angry that Kirkley's council wants to get licences for up to 10 events and if their objections go their way it could hit the people's prom and party in the park planned for the weekend of June 28th and 29th and set to attract crowds of up to 10,000 each. The events are just two of the major highlights planned for the summer programme with others including the hugely popular Huddersfield Carnival and a world music spectacular. Residents in roads surrounding the park fear they will be disturbed by music and traffic noise late into the night. A 25-year-old Huddersfield man was due to go on trial today, charged with murdering a Huddersfield University student. Daniel Sykes of Slowit has pleaded not guilty to the murder of 23-year-old fine art student Tobias Minsky, who went missing after a night out in the town centre last November. Tobias had come to Huddersfield from Poland with his girlfriend so they could both study at the university. He vanished on November 9th and on December 18th his body was found in a shallow, shallow grave alongside the canal in Slowit. Sykes is due in the dock at Leeds Crown Court this morning. The trial is expected to last two weeks. Moving on to sport now and in rugby. Huddersfield Giants chairman Ken Davey is confident there will, be, there will be no shortage of applicants for the newly vacant head coach position. Within hours of news of John Sharp's departure, Davey revealed the club had been contacted by established coaches on both sides of the world, keen to be offered the Gal Farm hotspot. But he is keeping their identity firmly under wraps as several top names from both the UK and Australia continue to be circulated. That's all for now from the Huddersfield Examiner video news team, but you can read more on these stories in today's Examiner paper.